Hello friends, welcome to the channel. This is Technical Express channel from where you can get lots of information about new technologies and tips and tricks for electronic gadget repairing. In this video, I'm talking about the repairing of desktop computer. And in the previous two videos, I have discussed about the components and the pass of uh, CPU box. What are the parts used in a CPU box? And in this video, I am going to discuss about discuss about the parts of this motherboard. This is the part of a texture computer. It is called motherboard. And you can see me on motherboard there are many components, many parts are used. So what are the parts used on a motherboard? So you can see here this is the fan. This fan is used for cooling the processor. In behind this below this fan there is a metallic part which is called heat sink. This is this is also a heat sink but this is there is no fan on this heat sink and here is also a heat sink you can see it. this is also a heat sink without any fan so main the function of this heat sink is to make the component inside below this heat sink cool the component the components which generates heat are facilitated with such heat sinks so that their heat can be easily transmitted to the external environment so this is the main function of heat sink and the most excessive heat generated by the processor so a fan is also placed at top of the heat sink in case of processor so let's see how we can remove this fan and how we can replace this fan if there is any fault in this fan then we must replace this fan. what are the condition with which we have to replace these fans if the fan is very dusty or it is it becomes jam it's not working properly not moving properly then it cannot uh, it's, it cannot make the processor cool enough and then the performance of computer becomes slow and the computer may not work for long time after working sometime the computer may sort down due to high temperature so in if there is such problems in a desktop computer then we have to uh, clean this fan and clean the heat sink and see uh, see if there any dust is dust sheets it many dusts and any of this dust is part deposited around processor so if we have to replace this fan then we can remove it by moving the four screws screw type block this is the four locks at the four corners of this fan there are four locks you can see it here is a lock so if you want to re open this lock then move it anti-clock move it in anti-clock direction <coughs> it requires little power move it in anti-clock direction and pull it up all this do it for all these four locks move it anti-clock and pull it up and after pulling unlocking all these locks pull the fan up. the fan is out now and remove this remove this cable this is power supply for this fan and there is the fan you can see it the this below metallic part is called heat sink and the, and uh, above that heat sink this is a fan it is computable for this is not manufactured by intel 
this is compatible for Intel processors the stickers um, here you can see Intel sticker is placed it means this fan is compatible for Intel processor there are many company that pro that manufacture processors but the most popular processor is manufactured by Intel and this fan is compatible for Intel and another and more, uh, another popular processor is manufactured by AMD but the, that type of pressure are not very popular and in, if there is AMD processor in any computer then this fan will not be compatible for that so let's, let's you can see in this motherboard I have removed this I have removed the fan and you can see here This is the processor. This is the processor. It is placed in a socket. You can see a metallic socket is here. If you want to remove this processor, then unlock. There is a lock of socket. Unlock this socket and move, pull it up, and take out that processor. There. Here is the processor and that if you buy a motherboard if you have to replace the motherboard then you have to replace this board you can use this processor in another board the processor is not you cannot you have not you do not have to purchase this processor if you if your motherboard becomes faulty this is the separate part the main the most expensive parts of any computer is the processor it cost around 2000 to 20000 rupees so this is the board it cost about 2000 to 4000 rupees so these are the main parts of a textual computer this is processor and you can see here there is dots on processor do not touch on the, the points of this processor because if you touch here then if it fill with dust or if there is some water is sticked on these points then the processor may be short if they, it is dusty then clean it with blower or dry or cotton dry brush or cotton if this is this pins are dusty then processor works slow and generates lots of hits and your performance of your computer becomes slow or your computer may shut down after working some time so if there is heating issue in any computer then clean this processor clean the clean this socket clean this heat sink and if the fan is faulty then replace the fan if you gonna replace this fan then you have to purchase both these parts you have to replace the heat sink and the fan together because fan doesn't come separately so guys these are the parts of a desktop computer so all the parts of any computer are connected with this board this board is called motherboard and so you can see there are many connectors are placed on this motherboard and the connectors this is this in this is the socket this this is the slot for ram this is socket for processor this is slot for ram this is the port for power supply and these are the heat sinks and these are the connectors at the back of the motherboard where you can connect here you can connect ps2 keyboard mouse here this is the serial port this is the bj port for monitor this is USB port, these are also USB port, these are Ethernet 